So there was this kid I went to high school with named Mitch who liked to ding dong ditch. His parents were rich, he shopped at Abercrombie and Fitch, he had this weird twitch, and he had perfect pitch and he loved Lilo and Stitch. And his mom was a, well, you know what rhymes with Stitch, a whore. Well anyway, every weekend Mitch would go around neighborhoods playing ding dong ditch. He'd run up to people's houses and ring the doorbell and then just haul ass. But he never got caught even though he bragged about it to everyone. Until one day, he decided to ding dong ditch the wrong house. The ding dong ditch witch. He went up to her house to ring the doorbell, but just before he touched the doorbell, the ding-dong ditch witch pulled out her wand and gave Mitch an itch that turned Mitch into an itchy little bitch. I'm talking he was so itchy all the time after that. He would itch in class, and people would think he had a disease. He would itch all day long. He couldn't sleep because he was so itchy. He would even itch while he was driving, and then he crashed his car into a ditch. He was paralyzed from the neck down, and his nose would itch, but he couldn't give it a scritch. That's a word. That's a word. It means the same thing as scratch. Look it up. And the hospital only had two movies, the movie Hitch and Lilo and Stitch, but it was the sequel, Stitch Has a Glitch, and he didn't like that one, so his nurse offered to switch it with her copy of Leroy and Stitch, but who's even ever seen that one? My main point is that he's still in the hospital bed to this day, paralyzed from the neck down, with an itch he just can't quite fix.